Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me to the conference on Europe without gender-based violence. I am sorry I cannot be with you in person today, but my director for equality, Madame Sala Sastamoinen, has joined you and will share her expertise on how the Europe fights violence against women. Today I want to talk on behalf of all the women whose story is one of violence and oppression because they are women. Violence against women is the most hideous form of inequality between women and men. Unfortunately, there is still too much violence around us today. In Europe, one in three women is victim of physical or sexual violence. And violence happens everywhere, not just at home. At work, 75% of women have faced sexual harassment. One in ten women has experienced sexual cyber harassment. I have zero tolerance for violence against women and girls. At European level, we protect and support victims of violence with laws on equal treatment, including sexual harassment, combating trafficking in human beings, fighting sexual abuse, and sexual exploitation of children and child pornography. Thanks to European protection orders, victims are also protected when traveling to another member state. But as you all know, it takes more than laws on paper to stop actual gender-based violence from happening. European Commission has taken several actions to promote changes on the ground, with a particular focus on prevention of violence against women. We are currently funding 13 national awareness raising actions and campaigns in member states, for which we have designated 3.7 million euros. They include short movies targeted at men to help them choose non-violent behaviors, as well posters aimed at communities practicing female genital mutilation to advertise national helplines for victims. We are also funding transnational projects that have a real impact on the lives of women and girls in the European Union, including victims' assistance for an average of 9.5 million euro a year. Last but not least, we organize exchanges of good practices between member states. I see a strong connection between promoting gender equality and combating violence against women. The new policies of my mandate on gender equality will reinforce that link and include a strong focus on fighting violence against women while boosting our previous commitments. I believe the Council of Europe's Istanbul Convention on Preventing and Combating Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence is also a very powerful tool in our common fight against gender-based violence. I congratulate the Member States that have already signed and ratified the Convention, and I strongly urge all the others to promptly join the ranks, including the Czech Republic. I hope I can count on your support to ensure it is pushed through. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a fruitful event and I look forward to work with you together in the future to achieve a Europe without gender-based violence.